The impact of climate change has led to lower rainfall and higher temperatures in Cape Town in the past two to three years. And this has resulted in low water volumes in the six dams which make up the city's water supply system. The Teofartus Kloof Dam, about 100 kilometers outside Cape Town, is the city's biggest reservoir. Today, the dam level is said to be around 10%. And it simply looks like a desert-like, arid piece of land with hardly any water in sight. Authorities say when the combined water storage level of all the city's dams gets down to 13.5%, day zero will be triggered. I think the prospect of day zero in a city of four million people is really frightening because if day zero comes and nobody's prepared, there's going to be panic. There are other cities that have come very close during drought conditions to having no water. Sao Paulo in Brazil is one of those. But I think to make sure that all of Cape Town survives day zero and, and everybody helps each other to get through this crisis, that it doesn't become a catastrophe, is, is the challenge for us Cape Tonians to deal with now. The World Wildlife Fund says it's imperative that the people of Cape Town arm themselves with relevant information and share info and resources with one another in preparation for day zero. In a disaster, people don't know what to do first and in what order. So we've thought this through and we're collaborating with a range of different experts who can give us the best advice. So far, we've been saying to people, make sure you've got an emergency store of drinking water at home. Have at least 10 litres of bottled drinking water per person in your household. And start talking to your neighbours. Who's got alternative sources of water? Who's got a borehole? Who's got a large rainwater tank? Who's even got a swimming pool with some water left in it that you could start sharing and using together? Meanwhile, the race is on to bring alternate water sources online such as water from Cape Town's three desalination plants. Much of the equipment has been delivered in early December and work continued in uh, most of December, so that work is progressing well. With our efforts in bringing new water online and combined efforts of citizens reducing their consumption dramatically, we can collectively avoid a day zero. Renadal Calm, CGTN, Cape Town, South Africa.